Hello everyone, my name is the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And Frost and Capcan, they are the two main trap ops in this game of Siege that we like to play. I just want to ask a simple question: which one's better, Frost or Capcan? And I would say, actually, that these two operators, if you compare each other, are some of the most balanced when you compare them to each other. So let me explain. Let's start with Capcan. Capcan's got his SMG and his shotgun, and his two handguns. He's got explosives, and he's got his explosive traps. Combine all of these together, and Capcan can actually rotate because of his explosives. He can take out uh, riot shielders, and he's got his Capcan traps that do, I want to say it's always like 51 damage to someone if they run into him, but there's five of them, but they can be caught really easily. In fact, I think Capcans, if I'm playing and I know that there's a Capcan on the team, Capcans are some of the easiest traps to ever find in a siege match, especially if you have IQ. And then we go to Frost, where we have the Frost gun. I, oh, I call it the Frost gun. It's the CM1, the, the Super 90, and her pistol, along with the barbed wire and the bulletproof camera. The camera is really nice to see where people are. And the wire is also nice just to slow people down. I don't like putting the frost traps in the wire. I put them in weird spots. But then you only get three frost traps, but they're dark and they can't be found by IQ. So which one's better? I think that together, they are very equally balanced and it is situational to which which one is better. I think that if the enemy is not looking for traps, Frost traps are probably better because you can get more kills off of them, and I think frost traps kind of cause a little more chaos. Um, I think the higher up you go, the more useful Capcan becomes. Because Capcan has a couple tricks up his sleeve to hide the Capcans, but I think most importantly is if you're playing higher up and you, you're playing Capcan, you put the Capcan mines down, you can hear when someone shoots them, so you'll know where they are. And if one goes off, you'll know even more where they go off, where, where they are. Well, frost traps, you know, you get a welcome mat bonus. There's three possible locations, and unless you know you put down a bulletproof cam where the frost trap is, or you're watching the frost trap, it's kind of not as useful to cap can, in my opinion. I think that the trap ops are better used for information rather than actually getting frags and kills and stuff like that. Which is why I think Legion is probably my favorite trap op, is because he gets the most traps. And the, the Legion traps, in my opinion, are a little bit too strong. That's just me, though. So with Frost and Capcan, I feel like Frost, I think, could be a little bit more powerful if you were playing Hostage, just because the Hostage can obscure someone's vision. Sometimes, maybe. Um, and, you know, frost traps you can put anywhere on the floor most of the time. Cap cans you always have to put on certain doors and windows and stuff like that. You can only put them on doors and windows. When it comes to bomb, I think it's up in the air. Same with secure to area. I mean, secure area, I think cap cans are a little more powerful because if you frost trap someone, they can still stay in the secure area. And so, like I said, like, all of this, remember that all of this stuff that I'm explaining, it all means that Capcan and Frost are situational operators. If the enemy is using IQ, I use Frost. If I am just playing for fun, I use Frost, because I'm better with Frost's gun. Ragnar always plays Capcan. I always play Frost, if we're doing trap ops. So it's really situational to which one would actually be better. Me, personally, I pick Frost more often than Capcan, because I have more experience with Frost, and I like Frost's gun better. Frost's gun for me just hits headshots all the time. And the pistol. For some reason I can hit headshots with the pistol, no problem. So I really just pick Frost because I know her better. It's not because she's a better op, but it's just because I know how to play Frost better than I do a cap can. And it's the same thing with Ragnar. If we're playing serious and we need a trap op and I want to play someone else and he wants to play a trap op, he'll play cap can. Or Frost, if, if we're kind of winning, but we want to win, he'll sometimes play Frost. But usually if we want to go for a win, and it's a trap op, he's Capcan. So 
that's kind of what I think about Frost and Capcan. I think as if you just compare them one on one, they're very balanced towards each other. Very situational, different pros and cons. I think it's, like I said, they're situational. If the enemy isn't using IQ, if they're looking for traps, if they're not looking for traps, if you have enough cameras, roamers, anything. A cav, caviera, frost probably better because she can get interrogations. But let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Do you like frost or cap can better? And do you use the shotgun or the machine gun on them? Love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Steve the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I'll see you in the next episode of Stream Vlog or Steam and Post of whatever I decide to make.